Yeah, so when you use a uh, melee weapon, it just acts like a regular weapon. You press the one button to swing, and uh, you can change into an like a, an aimed view to get maybe better angles. But yeah, it's just about the same. It just has much shorter range. Which means you have to get up in somebody's grill. Okay, so we need to go report our success to the people at... Green Top Nursery. And then you need to go get Piper. Yep. Ah, the pitter-patter of little kitty feet. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of funny that you can give Nick stim packs, but you can't give him uh, use repair kits. He's human enough for a stim pack to work on, but... Then again, they put in repair kits with the first DLC. Nope. Piper ended up winning. Piper ended up winning by one vote. It was almost a three-way tie between Curie, Hancock, and Piper. Did you have any luck with those raiders? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way. Help yourself to the workshop over there. We'd be glad to consider you a friend. And now I have to go talk to Preston Garvey to turn this quest in, but screw that. So let's see. Yeah, honestly, if they need help, I'm going to go rescue them, so. You'll go ahead. Why don't you do some You've cooking real quick? no idea the relief I feel right now. Those raiders won't be back any time soon. Alright. Oh, I can make the squirrel bits crispy now. Exactly. Plus you have death plus steak. Fried frog frog crawler. Frog mm -hmm. crawler. Frog crawler. Close enough. Yeah. Yeah, that was all I can cook right now. It's because you don't pick up any of the stuff that you've killed. I haven't been killing that many uh, animals. No word yet. Doubt we'll ever learn what happened to him. I'm sorry. I, I know how hard this has been. Well, there's a story there, but it's not our story. No, not our story, not our problem. So, let's see. 99 problems, but this ain't one of them. Yeah, especially now that we took care of the ra their raider problem for them. Okay. Don't worry. I'm sure more raiders will show up eventually. Cambridge Polymer Labs. You gonna go get Piper? Yep. She is hanging out in Diamond City, last I recall. I think so. Does she move there so we can do the quest where we had to talk to her? That's a Kendall synth. Creepy. You know, I much prefer not having 99 problems. <sighs> it always bothers me when I have that many problems. Yeah. Because it's an, also an odd number. You see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? That's a good question. You know, that is an excellent question, and I will get on that right after... Yeah, I don't know that I'll go and get on that, but, you know. Right after I do some stuff that's more interesting. Huh? Yep. The hell with the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, until somebody sits there and until a vote gets everybody up on that. <laughs> I don't know that I would want to marry uh, Beyonce. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. She's she's definitely the Queen Bey. But, uh... <laughs> I like that. It's too late. Okay, Piper, where the hell are you? Could she be at, uh, Nick's? No, she was here when we talked to her. She's got a typewriter and a cream dress. Oh, hey, hey, Nat. Kid, where's What's your up? sister? Hey, Nat. Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Ah, uh, <laughs> I think you got that backwards, child. 
did you go back to Sanctuary? Damn it, Piper. Well, you know something? She is her own woman. She'll do what she wants. True. And if that's confused you as far as where the hell she is, well... I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Get, uh, well... <laughs> you're married to me. You should be used to that kind of shit. <laughs> How much can I confuse you? All kinds. Actually, with how long we've known each other now, it's, uh, that's actually rather difficult. It was easier when we didn't know each other so well. Mm hmm Okay, Piper. Well, that means I can drop off some of my junk. Junk. Yep. I, oh, man. I could turn this quest, but then... But then he's going to give you more work. I know, and I don't want him to give me more work. Uh, just to, oh. try to avoid him. That's what combat armor looks like, by the way. Which you probably want some military fatigues. To go under it, yeah. Do you have any of those? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. I remember when I was married, and then I took an arrow to the knee. Well. You know, I actually heard somebody say at one point that... Uh, the phrase, take an arrow to a knee, refers to getting married. I have no idea if there's any accuracy behind that. I don't know how... I can't verify it, because... Yeah, but it, it you know makes sense. I used to be an adventurer, and then I got married. What's going on? Sup, Sturgis? I have unfunny jokes. Congratulations on marrying someone with good aim. I'm not sure who, who has good aim. That's a good question. Actually, if they had good aim, they wouldn't have taken out your knee. Unless they just didn't want Unless you to get away. Unless that's what they wanted to do. I mean, oddly specific. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to get rid of... That doesn't have weight. I've been drinking my beer. Um, you should you should leave your carrots. I've got two brace reinforced... Left arms. Oh, wait. There's one in there, too. So now I have three of the damn things. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three left arms. Three pieces of left arm armor that are all so, identical. So apparently you're like you're like Trogdor. You got a <laughs> big beefy arm coming out of your back there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm pretty see. okay with the children's bow in my garage. Don't sh shoot children, please. You know that is a fair enough assessment of things. What was your other uh, uh, missile launcher? I was just a regular missile launcher. I think you should get rid of that regular missile launcher. Why would you want to use a Nintendo 64 controller when you could pull out the Nintendo base gun? <laughs> Duck hunt. I still want to kill that fucking dog. <laughs> Anybody else played Duck Hunt like when they were a kid with the gun practically on the screen? Yes. Even though it didn't matter. It didn't matter. You could sit there and have your gun, have that Nintendo gun, press directly to the screen, pull the trigger as a duck came up, and it didn't matter. I feel bad for you, Ada. At some point, we're gonna have to do her quest line just to do it. Just because. Dang, you know that's what has happened that's as rough. Well. Is what has befallen the Commonwealth atypical? Ah, oh, Curry. I, I can't help but love Curry. Just because of that accent. Well, it's partially the accent, but it's also partially the whole issue of... She's so methodical. Wait, what was that? On the ground. Beer bottle. Yeah. Okay, well, it looked like it had a top on it. I was like, wait. Is there a beer in there? Is that a there? beer bottle, or is that a beer? You can always use some more muscle around here. Oh, Sturgis. But I try to avoid violence myself. I think he's flirting with us. You, you sly dog, you. Playing up the whole part of being, you know, a pacifist. But yeah, the, Curry, Curry's like... I wouldn't say that she's innocent. Because she's not. She's willing to do things that are actually pretty... Could be considered pretty horrendous. You know, testing on people. And... You know, God's what not. But I actually think that what she has is closer to naivety. I'm avoiding you. Avoid Gar Preston. Do not talk to Preston. 
Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Prepare for the future. Is that Piper? Can't wait to get out of this goddamn heat. Nope, it's Kate. No, oh, it's Kate. But yeah, it's uh. Sure, we can gab for a bit. Yeah, so it's it's like the the whole thing with uh, with Curie is like, I don't think that she's innocent because she's not. But she's very, she's quaintly naive. Mm -hmm. You know that she she doesn't understand because she's a she she's a robot. She doesn't understand the fact that she what she could what she's doing or did or has done or any of that was actually painful or harmful or anything anything like that. Which, you know, it just makes you think the three laws of robotics are not a thing in this world. I don't ask for much. Just need a full bottle and some bones to break. Yeah, I guess if, if Kate's complaining about the... There we go. If Kate's complaining about the heat, at least she's dressed for it. You just say the word. Hey, Piper. So this is the interesting question, is... Sure, let's go. Will do. Traveling with Piper is not for the faint of heart. I'd know. Nick. Wow. Did he oh, just, just what to say. allude to some kind of past foray? Maybe. Mm, I guess it depends if, about no the three laws of robotics. Yes, but Strong doesn't like when I do other things. Strong doesn't like when I help anything. So let's or see. anyone. We don't want to go find Virgil because that's story related. Far from home. Um, Shadow of Steel is we're pointing to Paladin Dance. Um, we've already done this one. You know something? I, I, I have this I have this sinking sensation that we're going to end up going back to, you know, talking about robot dongs. <laughs> And that's just, let's just not do that. I don't want to create too many facepalm moments. Okay, I think I know what we're going to do. I think that the, the, the three laws of robotics are just kind of... We're going to go to... inherently imperfect. So. Yeah, we're going to go and do that giant ship quest. Oh, yes. Oh, man, you wanted to take Hancock to that one. Yeah, Piper will be good, too. Yeah, but Hancock's is kind of hilarious with that. Well, that's kind of part of the whole issue with the three laws that they're they're just they're very basic. I think at one point one of the uh, stories Isaac Asimov wrote. God dang it, Strong! Now you got me thinking about frog legs. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, at one point, uh, Asimov explained that the three laws are really boiling down some very complex concepts. That uh, if you actually just put something as blatant as those three statements in, that you'd have all kinds of lockups and issues as they as the as they try to figure out which one they have to follow first, or yeah, then and you know essentially it's a lot more complicated than just three statements. It's a well, lot of it's... additional work around programming to in implement it. Well, and not only that, I mean it, it's it's kind of like when it's kind of like when somebody all says that That's they are pro-life all the time, but yet they don't allow for nuance, you yeah. know. And so you know, if a woman is pregnant, even if she wants the child, but the yeah. The fetus what? is killing her. Man's ain't exactly the get to know your type. Plus heartache that way. Yeah. You know, it's there's there's going to be nuance. You can't have it's, it's not a zero sum all or nothing mm -hmm. situation. This this isn't one of those cases of, you yeah. know, there's there are areas of a lot of areas of gray. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, mannequin. A place like this. Okay, let's see if we can get any work around I'm from Bunker Hill. You've heard of Old Man Stockton, yes? People gotta do something, Dad. When did old Man Stockton. I run three caravans. I don't remember iRobot. I don't know we watched it. It's the Will Smith one. So Gary's wife. No, I didn't watch it. That settlement, Lucas. Old Man Stockton. 
you ever um, buy anything from that was the one with the city? robots who by my men. in general okay. sat there and started having some great big issues so what's the hey, deal here you talk some sense into my numb skull son getting involved with the railroad is just trouble Yeah, uh, let's see. It's always good to help people. People? There's no people about it. They're goddamn synths. Oh, you didn't explain All that I to me. Here is some crusty old caravan hands. No offense. Go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the... Oh, I see you have quite a hell of an underbite there, buddy. Might as well That's a Jay Leno chin right, right there. No, it's not. That guy has a Jay Leno chin. Total butt chin. What did the Institute do to you? Ah, oh, Gary. He is, well, was, one of Cricket's hired guns. He hits the road and comes back to find his wife missing. Yeah, so the Institute kidnaps people. I'm not saying I like it, but the world's a dangerous place. It's not your job to save it. And dealing with the railroad, the Institute. Might as well put a bullet in your own damned skull. It'll just save you time. Hmm. Synths aren't the enemy. The Institute is the enemy. Yeah. Trying to save synths sounds noble to me. I'm you know, I, I, I don't have a lot of... We got I don't have a lot of pity for Will Smith, even if that... Uh, hey, someone doing trade in there. I mean, he's made do he made these decisions. Got some gut showing up here. Joe, I'm hurt. Have you finally managed to resist my charm? No, no. You finally decided to start paying for drinks? Joe, don't sully this. Kate can hatch you up if you're hurt. Best doc and vet around. Got every liquor from the Commonwealth here. Benefit of being the caravan trader's favorite bar. You have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not going to send him on that Well, same uh, yeah, and Scientology, hey, that's... He brought it up, not me. Uh, As I was saying, before us of all these started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My okay, the part of the Minutemen. was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, it didn't mean the world to me. Yeah, sure. But wait. If the price is right, I might help. Malden ain't the safest of places. I suppose I could spare 200 caps. Uh, you know, the whole thing with Scientology, it's a, uh... I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Okay. I'm just going to come right out and say it. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. You can pr pretty much put that on any religion. So you're Scientology is just more Indian, direct about it. Don't give me that yeah. look. You know, rather than sitting here, rather than sitting here and saying so every week kind of you should give money to the church mm. on the collection plate. You're a veterinarian. They sit there and they say, well, animal, we want to help okay? fix you, you so take care of the animals, or you know, you, you give us money, we'll help fix animal. you. Then you yeah. get it's all animal. bullshit in the end. Family start bleeding out on the You know, if anybody is offended, I. You learn triage too. I don't mean to offend. Now let's talk about what you need. But first. you know, that's what gonna pass. All right. Excuse that's me. what most religion is. It's garnering power if within the hands of here. certain Let's individuals and need a roof. Trying to screw what over What to trade today? Well, pretty much everyone. Yeah. That's the history of it. I mean, heck, the fact that the Catholic yeah. Church used to sit there and pay out, you know, you could buy indulgences. You could be the biggest piece of shit in the world. And as long as you had money to sit there and pay, you could sit there and have, you could do Hi. anything and be okay. like, well, you know, I got this indulgence. I got my ticket to heaven. Oh, this is Meg. Small child. Okay. Mm. Mm. Trying to find some other things to, people to trade with or get quests from. You know what actually... Can I go back to the whole thing about Asmov? I think the first of the robot. Can't believe Kessler keeps this town together. Caravan <laughs> Somebody who agrees with you. I think like the first of the robot novels would uh, be a really good one. So as I recall, it was basically a detective uh, story. I don't 
don't know. I don't really, I don't really see much difference between it because they still ask. The there, there's the expected rooms, idea that you when you go and when you pay, right. you're giving your tithes. Your outfits make money off this place, so don't go causing trouble. You get me? Look, I love chatting as much as the next girl, but I got a town to run here. See, I, I think that there's a difference between. There, there is a slight difference, but not by much. They just have a set price tag, whereas they're, you know, tithing. It's like here, Stockton. Give what? What is it? Fifteen. I don't know. There, there's a certain percentage that is, is, the expedient expectation for tithing. That's all he's going to say right now. So I guess it's either we go and find this Joe Savaldi, or we go and deal with the ship. Yeah, take your pick. Eh, we can at least go and go wait, and see wait, the ship. Wait, did I just see a... Okay, I thought I saw a Brahmin on a roof. Mm-hmm. I was like... All right, so that's one quest. We'll go and head to the ship. Hi, I'm Meg. Got no time for you, child. I have quests and things, things to, do. to do. Oh yeah. I mean, then again. Okay, I keep hearing things in the game and thinking that I'm hearing rain outside. Could be. No, it's not. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is, holy shit, I'm hearing shit. <laughs> and look at that boat. Eh. Yeah, we'll get it to you guys later. Yeah, you know the whole the, the whole thing with Scientology is it's it, it's it's its, its own scary? kind of weirdness because it's based on a story that was never meant to be a religion. So I guess we know what our this ref, is reference to our character's military record. I was in the army, but what's the congressional army? Standing order, sir. Proclamation three. All members of the U.S. Army are hereby members. Of the Congressional Army. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. So you've had you've had a loud explosion near your ears? Possibly. Hey, it happens. Actually, surprisingly, because my father always has been a farmer, mm -hmm. I sit here and I wonder why he hasn't had more issues with tinnitus. Because he didn't wear, uh, you know, ear protection. I mean, he can't hear for shit, but... Is this the entrance? Yeah, isn't it? I thought Look so. Look up. Oh, that's right, a hatch. <coughs> Old Ironsides. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. I mean, usually tinnitus comes because of loud... Of either explosions or uh, consistent loud sounds. So, hey. This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the berth, disable the fences, make way. Patrolling. Oh, so that's what he's doing. Patrolling. I also just love this old kind of timey aesthetic with all of the machinery through here. Look down. Uh. Yeah, when you don't protect your ears from loud noises, it usually comes back and with either, well, just deafness, or Warning. loss of Over hearing, or tinnitus, or sometimes a combination of the two. Unidentified. Intruder. Intruder. I love how we're just like looking at him like, what? Requesting permission to use lethal force. 
Whoa, whoa, easy there. Just lower your weapon. Unable to comply. Stand down! That's an order! And for God's sake, use the accent! I, Captain, standing down. Okay then. Tis an honor to crew such a story. That's all. This is like a Codsworth stripped down to bare parts. From the top deck, one can spot other robots from the Commonwealth. Floating, listless, without purpose, but not us. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call the Captain Trump bot. Yeah, wait till you see him. Yeah, he, he's... I'm confused. This didn't sail up here, right? Oh, Piper, we need to get your hair dyed. Huh? Captain Ironsides. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, the captain is amazing. You, you know something? You know what? I, you know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of a robotic Darth Vader. I'm fine. Sp Jack Sparrow. Okay. Of the USS Constitution. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He called these long years on her airy perch. Ah, okay. The defense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the controller. Defending the Constitution. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. A sad state of affairs for such a historic ship. Seems the old girl deserves better. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most We're is getting all kinds of points with Piper. In the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er do wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. Like, can't you just if imagine you, the, the captain walking the around in a human a body with a, a Jack Sparrow the swagger to some degree? You yeah. You can totally see it. But as a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's person. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay oh, the no. instructions. Oh no. She'll still want Nick. But then she'll also remember. She she probably also remembers that one night in Bangkok with the Robo Dick. Oh. You know, some people just love a good ghoul. Yep. Oh, and by the way, they just said that firing the cannons was optional. Firing the cannons is not optional. Ah, it's a thing of beauty. That one night with Hancock. Oh my. Yeah, that too. Hmm. The lookout's just going to town on him. I think we might have gotten them. Oh wait, no, there's more. Oh, here they come. Oh, the lookout's going into in, in there after. Oh, I forgot Piper oh, has a she's mini gun. Oh, she got a mini gun. I forgot about that. Uh, yes. Second floor, second floor to the left. There you go. They definitely picked on the wrong people today. Get him, Piper. You know I. Oh goddamn Molotovs! How did you throw a Molotov that far? And a grenade. Whoa. Because that gun is that powerful, Piper. Because... Piper... You'd probably be able to feel your legs if you took the minigun out of your... Anyway, I'm just gonna sit there and leave it at that. You can't get off on a minigun. It's not a motorcycle. You are the one who's doing this. I love when they sound like, you know, monsters. Was that the last one? Piper? 
Oh. You know? You deserve this, Piper. Yeah. You done good, Piper. There's a heat shimmer off the barrel of the minigun. Have I have you tried getting off on a minigun? Considering the fact that hey. the just let me know. That there is a heat shimmer coming off the barrel and after using it for prolonged periods of times it turns, you know, fire engine red. <laughs> no. I gave Piper all my five 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 millimeter rounds. And I will give her any more 5mm rounds I come across. Um, don't mind me, I'm just going to loot this guy. Useful. Yeah, so let's see. Well, I mean, you know, you know, motorcycles are, you know, blow dryers, vibrators, and ponies. Po yep. Every girl's best friend. Every, every girl's, you know, best friend. Pretty hot. I think that's okay. a little bit too, a little bit beyond warm to touch. <laughs> so let's see. We've got two people we need to talk to. I'll be back. I'll be Claritin. Are you going to get uh, pork? Okay. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do a quick save after we beat off that attack. Yeah, you don't have to. Oh, level up, you're right. Let's do deal with level up before we save. So let's see. Hmm, I'm gonna put this point into charisma. Just so that we can do the Pikmin quest. And or not Pikmin, the uh the quest that um what is it? Oh, for the Cabot House thing and get 11 Charisma.